So as you have read by the title of this video, yes, I do believe that Rage 2 is very much like going under the radar. Did you even know that Rage 2 will be happening? Well, coming out on uh, coming Tuesday on the 14th. It's, it's insane. Only like, well, let me check, three days? Well, from the uh, recording of this video, it's only three days remaining until the Rage 2 will be released. Where is all of the marketing for this game? Now, granted, there was a very uh, uh, recent launch of a, what do you call it, a launch trailer for Rage 2. It does look good, actually, something a little bit different. Uh, actually, at, at this moment, you're uh, watching it uh, right now. And it looks good. Like, genuinely, it looks good. But also, you have to, we have to, I should say, consider the fact that maybe there was some kind of strategic move or motive for this. That's why there's not much marketing going on. So there could be a good thing, there could be a bad thing. Let's get into more of a skepticism, right? So, would this mean that like publishers are not very confident about this game that will turn out to be? And so people, uh, you know, you know, just to make sure that they uh, throw it under the bus of the radar, basically, you know, and just make sure that not, not many people will know that this game is coming out because they don't feel very confident. So they want to, you know, move away from that backlash, perhaps. Or, or the good motives thing is just simply, genuinely, that the publishers or developers are, um, you know, they just simply want to be on the good side, so they don't want to spoil pretty much anything this so far as we already know. But, nowadays and age, basically, nowadays, that's not really an option. That's not really a thing, I wouldn't say an option, but knowing Bethesda, yes, I understand it's not Beth Beth Bethesda developers, I get that but they are more or less of publishers. So knowing them, no way they will pass on the opportunity to market and you know make sure that they push out this game Rage 2 and just make sure you will get it will hit a home run. And just did you know it's coming out? Like I have not noticed any marketing for this game. Barely any talking conversations, no backlash, no good things to say and this is main concern. At least Anthem had a bunch of marketing going into it, but all after that has been complete backlash. At least the game on that front was being talked about. But what, what if I would tell you, Rage 2, what do you see around the internet? All I see, or I should say all I hear, is crickets. That's it, crickets. This is very concerning, you know what that means? Like if the game is not being talked, not on even a positive side, nor on the negative side, the game is dead. That's how games die, they never been talked about, that's it, they're just irrelevant. Uh, no, fuck, I need to say this, it's very important. Please, understand, this is just an opinionated commentary I'm gonna be talking about now. When I mean as straightforward as being dead, obviously it's not going to be dead. Well, for love of God, it's not. I'm sure that when the game does come out, well, I actually I should say I'm ho I hope when the day, uh, game comes out, they uh, reach to sorry, and so yeah, we will have a hands-on experience. Reviews are going to be going up and everything. There are some going to be some kind of backlashes and everything. There are some going to be good things regarding this game as well, and everybody will be looking very much look forward to it. I would say probably after the game when all the positive reviews will be filling in. Now, sure, there was, you know, it's already, um, you know, we already know a lot of people are not getting hands-on with this game. Uh, the only time that they will get to start to get an opportunity to play Rage 2 and review it is at the very release of the game. Not many people got an opportunity to play this game prior, or well, I should say, pre-release of the Rage 2, the proper launch date. And so there's not many people will be able to give you a proper reviews and tell you exactly what this game, what can it be and is good or not. Like, for example, those bigger publishers, oh, sorry, bigger companies, they will get their hands on with the experience that Rage 2, I would say even they're playing currently right now, I would say. And so they will be bringing in for you a review, like, for example, IGN. But, you know, after the, the Days Gone review, what they have managed to do, and also I think it really does depend who is reviewing it, that really does depend. Like, you would never believe any of those reviews that are getting fair share fair share you know what i mean fair share i put that in quotes <laughs> it's just just it's not they're not trustworthy i would say like wait for the angry joe wait for skill ups review but everything but regarding their people uh, regarding these people as well 
there's a big problem with that. We have to wait for so long. And I, you know, there's so many anticipations from the people that they just want to, you know, get the experience right now. Well, I want to know the review. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I only want to... Uh, uh, the game is out. I only will wait for another day. That's it. If not, if there's gonna be barely anybody talking about it or giving any uh, the, the reviews, I, I don't care. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. And that's bad. That's bad. You need to wait for the reviews. But you know that can take so long. It depends on the game and it depends how big it is really. And depends, of course, on the reviewer himself uh, how long he will create that specific review. For Rage 2, I have never played Rage 1. I can't talk about Rage 2. I've never even tried it at the E3, whatever. I've never even been at the E3. And what are any of those conventions and what whatsoever, right? I will review it. I will pull, pull a, uh, put it up on my YouTube channel in here. And um, it really does depend on the game if it's going to be fantastic. If the game is subpar, if the game is just simply good, it will be much quicker. I will I will release it as fast as possible. If you would like to know my standpoint on Rage 2 and what I thought about it, I will have a bunch of stuff on the uh, on my community tab page um, in this YouTube channel. So stick around till on there. I will put in a simplistic form and say what uh, is a good or is a bad, and also I will have a review up for it in, anyway because I will be playing it for sure. I'll play it, play the story, tell you what's up. You know, there's gonna be a lot more to it. I cannot guarantee if it's going to be a giant review. If I do end up doing a giant review, that will mean like another week or so until I will uh, be able to create an editing and every everything that the process that requires rendering and everything. It's it's a lot of work, obviously. But if I would just simply do a review, right? Just a simple review. I don't even need that much time. I can even do it for a couple few hours. That's it. I'm done. I can, you know, I can put it up straight away. But it's not also. It's not really ideal. Also, that, that, that everything really does depend on the game as well. So that really does depend on that. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like this game is only getting. All I hear is the crickets around this game, surrounding it anyway. The last thing that we heard about anything regarding Rage 2 was the controversy due to the fact of the cheating that you can do. Remember in the Grand Theft Auto series that you can uh, take out the phone, you type in some kind of numbers, and then uh, whatever it was 567-555-24000, for example, right? And it enables, uh, you know, gets your health back up and your armor, for example, right? Rage 2 is going to be not much different. Obviously, that will also mean that we'll be blocking your trophies and achievements to be unlocked. Same thing was for Grand Theft Auto. Grand Auto 4, Grand Auto 5, well, I think you need a combination of buttons for that. So, same goes for the San Andreas. So, I, I actually think that's pretty damn awesome. You know, it's a single player game, who cares? You're not intervening with anybody else, so that's awesome. I would love to experience that for myself as well. And, uh, you know, see how fun it really can be. What, how does the cheating, you know, the cheating that enables for the people, and how will it actually, how much fun it really is. A lot of stuff are going to be disabling the trophies especially, so it's obviously not ideal to bring it out, the cheating as soon as possible. Play the game, enjoy it, see what it got, after when you think that you all done and everything that you is good to go out for the review, then you take, uh, take a look at that, how this cheating system works. It's pretty cool. You know, it's not like cheating that you're cheating your whole game, it's cheating because developers actually uh, chose to include the cheating code, whatever, right, into this game, Rage 2. Same, same thing goes for the Rockstar games as well, for their Grand Theft Auto series. Well, I remember, I think it was like Grand Theft Auto by City, Grand Theft Auto... Ah, at this point, I feel like every single Grand Theft Auto had those cheating systems. And I mean, that's awesome. If the developers think that they should bring this in, that's awesome. You know, something gives an extra for the game that could be also very, very, very enjoyable. Personally, I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I don't know if I would, um, I don't know how, anyway, I'm gonna be honest, I do not know how Rage 2 will turn out to be. Perhaps it will be shit, perhaps it will be good. So far as I've seen, it looks a very, very satisfying gameplay. Everything else, eh, you know, that kind of feeling, that kind of feeling. Alright, well, this is just my genuine feeling of the game and so far what I've thought about it. Tell me down in the comments what did you think about this game as well. I'd love to hear it, you know, I'd love to read your comments as well. And uh, yes, I I'm actually upload uploading today, so take a look at my previous uh, video as well. Uh, links down below in the description as well. And yeah, just, you know, take a look at my channel over, uh, overall. There's plenty of stuff to see. Anyway, 
Have a good one. See you guys later. Have an awesome day. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, take a look at my Days Gone review. By the way, I put a lot of time and effort into that one. And I think it really does uh, deserve all the attention that uh, I think it probably does deserve. <laughs> anyway, have a good one, guys. Have a good one. You casting on